H blocks. Any of you who've watched Ancient Aliens have seen, or any video about Puma Punku know that this is probably the most intriguing feature. There are nine of these H blocks and the true story about it, you have so many different theories about these, like that they made up a wall or something like that, or that they were made in molds. Each one is of a different shape and size. So they were individually created, not mass produced. So that throws almost every theory about what they were for out the window. They also have very bizarre magnetic properties. They affect compasses very, in a very erratic manner. So another unfortunate thing and typical about, you know, I am bashing academics because I can't believe how superficial quite often they, they do things. This is a major excavation at Puma Punku, and as you can see, they've gone down about two and a half feet. And the stones you see all jumbled there, that's where they were found exactly like that, as if it was hit by, again, a massive cataclysm or a mud, uh, a wave of mud from Lake Titicaca. And when you ask them, why don't you dig deeper? They say, because there's nothing there. But uh, private individuals have gone there and they've done ground penetrating radar and they found a number of big chambers that are underground. They also did a recent uh, mapping using ground penetrating radar with a drone. And they discovered that these sites are probably five to 10 times the size as you see them. So now the government probably will have no choice but to restart excavation.